Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. One of our good friends and been watching our channel for a while, seen we had some hog problems. He's gonna help us out. This is Stan Nile. Y'all go check out his channel. He's got a channel on YouTube, Stan's Wild Hog Trapping. He's got the stuff to get them in there. We fixing to see if we can remedy this hog problem. What do you think? We're gonna try our best, isn't it? So we're gonna show y'all setting this trap up. I don't know no whole lot about this, but I have seen these drop traps before. So we're thinking we can get them maybe to go in this. So let's get it set up, see if we can catch us a pig. Brody, you gonna be on YouTube? Yeah. Brody's over here. He's he's more fascinated with the barbed wire, y'all.
They may not come back. <laughs> they will eventually. They'll get used to it. Y'all, I realized that I got back to the house, started working on this video, and I was fascinated with setting up this new trail. I didn't really tell y'all where we at with the hog problem. Uh, so we moved my trap over here in the corn pack. Uh, the corn is pretty much gone. You see there's a few stalks straggled around. It went about a week that they didn't show up at all. Then all of a sudden, they came like three or four nights in a row. Uh, the first night they came, that's the next day we moved this trap over here. Y'all, they come and walked all around this trap. The problem was that they wouldn't go in there both nights that they came up here while this hog trap was here. There was a raccoon in there with the door shut, so I couldn't catch them that way. The last three nights, I have not seen a pig track or caught a coon in none of that. I've still got four dog proofs over here on the back side of this. I've still got a cage trap right over here, the little small cage. So I think I've got my, my coon problem maybe remedied. I don't know. There's probably no such thing as totally remedying it. Um, but I just, when I started editing this, I was like, okay, I got to go back and fill everybody in on really where we at with the hog trap because even though me and Stan both knew where we at with it, nobody else out there watching knows. So we may not catch pigs because they hadn't been back up here in like three days. Uh, there's not a lot of corn. I'll walk around over here and show you a little bit. You see that right back over here. They, they, this is supposed to be like another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight rows of corn that there's nothing. So they pretty well wiped out. And I will tell y'all this, um, raccoons have wiped a bunch of it out. I've come down here at night. I've, they pulled it over. They laying it down. So. Crows, y'all crows, I come there, there's 20 crows and crows light on it and eat on it and they break it down. So it ain't totally been pigs, but this corn patch, y'all, is secluded back down here in the edge of the woods. Uh, there's, it's not close to our houses, so all the critters are coming down here eating out of it. But I just wanted to let y'all know a little bit about where we was at with this hog deal because I realized when I got to edit the deal, I was like, well, man, we done. We're going to set the whole trap up. I'm up here editing on the video and ain't told y'all nothing about what's going on, but we got the trap set back over here in this corner. The pigs are coming in through that fence, like right in there on a general principle. Not every time. They have, they, they are so random, but the most common place I've sent them across is that fence right up there. So we put the trap down there in that corner. Good level spot. Uh, it's kind of a solid place because, you know, pigs going to make a mud hole. If you watch Stan's channel, uh, go back and look where he's caught some pigs in the past. When they get a pig in there, man, they make a mess where that trap's sitting, which that's not really a problem here. We can fix any mud hole. I'm the least bit concerned about a mud hole. I mean, look at the corn patch. <laughs> you worried about a mud hole. So anyway, I just wanted to show y'all where we was at with this. And see, we got some more corn coming up in these clay peas. So anyway, bring y'all over here and let you take another look at the setup. Now he's got this deal set up. I didn't really tell you a lot about it while we was down here. He's got a camera over here where he can watch it. He may get some footage and uh, put it on his channel. So if you want to see some of this, if we make a catch and you want to see all about it, he probably can put all that on his channel. 
I'm not going to try to take his footage. I'm not going to ask for it. I don't want it. I want you to go watch it on his channel. This pole up here is, is so that he can live feed. So he can turn that camera around and, and watch me down here filming and talking and whatever else, you know. So we got to bait it up. Don't stick around. Come stand right here by Daddy. Come play. They'll be mad if you don't get on YouTube. Right. Come get come here. Turn around and look at that camera. Well, y'all, we got the trout set. We got it baited up with some corn. If we can just get them old pigs to come in here. We were talking about how smart they are. We decided some of them smart them. You know, we watched old Arnold on Green Acres, so we know we got to trick them into coming in here. But... <laughs> We hoping we get us a pig here in the next few days. Y'all go check out Stan's channel, Stan's Wild Hog Trapping. I'll put a link down here in the description to link to his channel. Brady, tell him goodbye. Bye. Come over here and look at the camera and tell him. Bye. Tell him the best way to do things. Best way to do things. Is the way you want to do it. Best way you want to do it. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all. We get we catch a pig the next few days. We'll put a clip of them in here. Thank y'all. We'll see you.